So we bring, sometimes we bring up old habits, don't we? Sometimes old habits can't come and visit. And sometimes there's a lot of them. Mm. Old situations, not old habits, sorry. Old situations come up. And we have a choice whether to respond with the old habits or change them and go to new habits. Sometimes it could be financial. Mm. Sometimes it could be relationships. Sometimes it could be um, career-related. Sometimes it could be, <laughs> even for instance, with Rose, we get her a certain, we get her a certain uh, place where she knows where she is, who she is, what she's doing. Yes, yeah, she's a good girl. And then it seems like she just falls back and goes to back to where she was. Mine, good girl. Yes. And then I'm left wondering, like, what did I do, right? I go back into panic, into what could I have done different? How could I have handled it different? Blah, 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 blah. And that is an old pattern, too. So how do we, when an old pattern comes up or something that we don't like comes up, how can we change that feeling? How can we change that thought process right away? How can we choose better instead of giving it to someone else, instead of talking about it to someone else, instead of creating more drama? This is, and this is a big one for me because I'm learning myself as I'm going through this. So it's really cool. Um, a situation came up that has nothing to do with me really, but in a way kind of does. So a relationship with someone else, but I have a relationship with this other person too. Well, I have a relationship with both people, but it's like, um, like when you're in a group of friends and your best friend does something with his other friend that makes it seem like, wait, where, I thought I was your best friend type attitude. And, um, and then you get this weird, like, and as you're, as you're younger, you go through the process of that's important. And, and I don't mean younger as in age wise, but mentally wise, right? Uh, spiritually wise, you know, your, your uh, ego gets in there, right? Blah, 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 blah. And you go, wait, I thought you, I thought I was your, and then they're doing something different. And this can go with romantic relationships. Um, you have a connection with your significant other and um, then this other friend comes in and not that they're connected romantically, but then they want to do something with the, with the buddy, you know, or their friend. And you're like, wait, that's something we do together. How did, how is this, like, why is this changing? Right. And, uh, um, and so like, you get into this and it's like a jealousy kind of thing and it's ego, right? But it's also habit. So you've just created the habit and you're going through the process and it, unless you decide you're changing, it's not going to change, right? It's going to keep popping up. And so, um, you have to change the situation. You have to change how you see it. You have to change. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on, let's go. You have to change how you're going to react to it and what's going on in in every moment. You get to choose, right? So how do you change it? How do you choose it? What do you do different that you could have um, that you could have always done, but you've chosen to do something now? What is it? Well, Number one, it is taking care of you. You have to take care of you. You have to fill your cup up because if you're not full with your cup, then you're going to allow everything the ego says to be true, right? And the ego, remember, is edging good out. So who is it good for you? Is it good for them? Probably not. Is it good for the situation? Probably not. Is it, does it feel good? Come on, this way, this way. 
Rosie, come this way. Um, it probably doesn't feel good. It, it isn't good at all. So what can you do to change it? And um, this happened to me recently. So what I started doing was the minute I came across that thought process, come on, that feeling, the same old feeling, I was like, hmm, no, 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 no. This isn't actually happening. It's just how I'm perceiving it or how I'm thinking of the situation. And I don't need to think this way. I don't need to be like this anymore. I don't. I get to choose who I want to be. I get to choose what I want to do. My thoughts are mine and I get to choose them. So um, yesterday for me was a very emotional, weird day. I don't know why, but it seemed like everything was coming up and like smacking me in the face. And I was like, wow. So I went to the mirror and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, what is going on? <laughs> What's going on? What's up? And I had a really nice conversation with myself about who I was, who I was, and, you know, realizing that everything that I thought was happening probably wasn't happening. And it was just my own process, thought process, creating. Now, that doesn't mean things didn't happen or things weren't said. Come on, Rosie, get your baby. Get your baby. Come on, let's go. Um, things were said, and um, but it wasn't about what they were said or what was said. It was about how I took it. So how did I take it and why? Why did I take it that way? What was going on with me? Why was I feeling insecure? So, like I said, I took myself to the washroom, looked in the mirror, and said to myself, you are lovable. You are doing your best. You are okay. It doesn't, you don't have to take it that way. That's probably not even how they meant it. You don't need to um, go through this process anymore. You deserve better for you. And I just kept encouraging myself and loving myself and putting it on myself that it wasn't this other person's responsibility for my feelings. It was my responsibility. It wasn't this other person's um, responsibility for how I act or react. That is my responsibility. And I started like going inside and looking, where is this coming from? Like, and trying to like really heal it, right? Because I'm the only one that's responsible for me. And people can say and do whatever they want. But if I'm low on energy, that's an inside job. That's a me job. If I'm, if I'm not confident enough or I'm too afraid to publish a book or if I'm too afraid to take the next step in my life, then I'm going to be in the same position I'm in today. Always. I'm always going to be here. So what is it that I could do different and that was it. It was going and talking to myself. Sometimes I write. Sometimes I, um, I sing and dance and go for a walk or do yoga or um, ride my bike or whatever. But it's always about me healing me. Me taking care of me. Me choosing who I want to be. And so last night, another situation came up and I was, I was like, I heard what was said and instead I just went quiet and I went inside and I talked to myself. I didn't, I didn't look at the mirror this time. I just was walking, but I was walking. And as I was walking, I was like thinking to myself and I was letting go of ego and I was saying, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody's allowed to do whatever it is they want to do. Everybody is allowed to be who they want to be. And nothing changes unless you change. Nothing changes unless you decide that you're going to be you. Nothing changes unless 
you heal unless you choose to be the better you, unless you choose to be the best you. You are unique. You are an amazing being just the way you are. You don't need anyone else. Yes, it is great to have people around you. It is great to have like-minded people around you. It is great to be around people who inspire you, who love being around you, who create. It is amazing to be around those people. But you don't need them. You don't. You. We, we get so stuck in the whole process of we need, we need, we need, and we don't need. Ready? Get it. What we need is ourselves. We really do. What you need is to find you. What you need is to be you. Choose you. You're worth it. So all the little things that come up, the different disagreements, the different thought process of, I can't believe they're doing that to me. I can't believe they're um, doing that, saying that, being like that. What's, why are they like that? I thought, I, I thought they loved me. I thought they were my friend. I thought they were blah, 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 blah. Maybe take a look inside. Maybe, just maybe, it isn't them at all. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have people who are actually mean to us. And we have people who abuse us. And we have people who put us down. And we have people who, you know, I know that. I get that. Been there, done that. But what if we could just change our thoughts about it? Not our problem. Their problem. That's who they're choosing to be. Not who I'm choosing to be. You know, like what if we could change that whole thing? You forgot your baby. Come on, let's go. What if you could change the whole thought process on that? What if you could change, you know, that's not who I want to be anymore. I'm not going to allow them to take my energy anymore. I'm not. It's my energy. I need it. I'm going to keep it. And that's what I want to do. What if we could do that? Wouldn't that be amazing to do that? Okay, dogs are taken care of. <laughs> now, 